Good evening. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, Human Skulls and Bones in Caesarea, Western Armenia, the growth of high-tech industry in Armenia, Aurora directing over $470,000 to Artsakh aid program. Pope Francis says he closely follows situation in South Caucasus. The Turkish Air Force has bombed six Kurdish villages in Syria. 70 million years old fossil snail in Samosat, Western Armenia. Today is Sosa Mairik's Remembrance Day. Military Geography of Armenia, Hamik Sayadian. A dam was built in 2003 in Caesarea, Western Armenia to relocate an entire district. Due to the decrease of dam water, skulls and bones belonging to the people were found in the cemetery of all district. They were collected by the staff of municipality and were buried in the cemetery of the new district. The turnover of high-tech companies increased by 20.6% in 2020 despite the epidemic and war in Armenia. As reported by Armen Press, the Minister of High Technological Industry of the Republic of Armenia, Hakob Arshakyan, said this, summing up the results of 2020. The minister reminded that last year the coronavirus and war prevented the implementation of programs. However, the high-tech sector in Armenia has grown in double digits in 2020. The turnover of the companies has increased by 20.6%, amounting to about 198 billion drums. Arshakyan said, the number of employees involved in the sector increased by 22%, reaching 18,747. The Aurora Humanitarian Initiative continues to broaden its humanitarian program in Artsakh, the IDEA Foundation told Armen Press. A decision has been made to bring on board a local expert with relevant background and Narine Agabalian, former Minister of Education, Science and Sports of the Republic of Artsakh, has joined the Aurora team to lead the project. In the meantime, Aurora keeps accepting proposals from organizations in need of assistance. In the aftermath of the war, Aurora has been providing direct aid to the people of Artsakh on the basis of the Ararat Challenge crowdfunding initiative and has already allocated $473,000 to the program. In her new position as head of Artsakh program, Narine Agabalian will oversee the implementation of the programs in the region supported by Aurora, as well as the development of a humanitarian platform to connect all stakeholders under the auspices of the Aurora Humanitarian Initiative and enforce decentralized coordination of major Artsakh-related efforts and funding. Pope Francis says he follows the developments in the South Caucasus with particular attention, Armen Press reports. While addressing the representatives of the diplomatic corps accredited to the Holy See, Pope Francis touched upon the geopolitical situation and the instability globally, including the situation in the South Caucasian region. I followed the situation in the South Caucasus with particular attention where several conflicts continue, some of which erupted last year, distorting the stability and security of the entire region, Pope Francis said. He expressed hope that 2021 will be the year of the end of the Syrian conflict or the resumption of direct dialogue between Israelis and Palestinians of stability in Lebanon and of peace in Libya. The Turkish Air Force has bombed six Kurdish villages in al Jat, Manbij, Syria. This was reported by the Kurdish Havar News Agency in Syria. It is noted that the attack of the Turkish Air Force took place around 2.30 p.m. at local time. A farmer in the Adiyaman Samosat province of western Armenia found a snail fossil on his land. Examination revealed that the fossil is from 70 to 100 million years old. The citizen handed over the found fossil to the Museum of Adiyaman Regional Center. Experts have found that the fossil is at least 70 million years old, in fact a snail. The director of the museum noted that the fossil will be exhibited after being examined by experts. Sosem Maitik, a member of the Armenian National Liberation Movement, Akpir Serov's wife and comrade in arms. She took part in the Haiduk battles. After the Battle of Babshen in 1898, she took refuge with Serov in Sasun. In 1899, in the village of Gelia Gozan, she resisted the poisoned Serov along with Serov brothers and the Hakov's son and showed resistance to the enemy, showing great courage. She was taken prisoner to Bitlis and soon released. After the Sassoon uprising in 1904, she moved to Van and then to Caucasus. So Zemaidik's other son, Samson, was killed in Karin during the massacres. After the Sovietization of Armenia, Sosem Maidik moved to Constantinople and then to Alexandria. On February 9, 1953, a brave Armenian woman at the root of the Armenian liberation struggle died in Alexandria. Her last words were, Syrup is calling me, dear Hike, I'm leaving. In 1998, 45 years after her death, Sosem Maidik's body was moved to Armenia. She was reburied in the Yarablur Pantheon. 
On Western Armenia TV, Hamik Saedian, the author of the book Military Geography of Armenia, presented the first chapter of the book and spoke about a number of important researches included in the book. He gave an overview of the military geography of Western Armenia and Artsakh, presenting important military issues that require strategic solutions. He stressed the importance of always keeping the moral and psychological condition of a soldier high and feeding him with knowledge. Now we present you Bulanuhi Kochari by Masung and Sambal. The full version is available on the official website of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.